Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you are new here, you are very much welcome and watch the videos that I've already posted in the past. And of course, this new video that I'm sharing right now. So today we have a new topic. It's very exciting. This is one of the most requested topics or one of the most requested features for that matter for Canva to implement. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so just a couple of days ago, this was already announced to us and we were given a go signal to spread the word already and inform our community about the new feature. And I'm talking about the Canva rulers and guides. So as you can see right now on your screen, let me just zoom this one out so you can see, this blue lines right here are the guides and the measurement right here on top is the ruler. So let me revert this back to normal. And what I'm gonna do is to actually just remove this and then we can discuss what the new feature is all about. So let me um, remove and then I'm going to tell you what exactly I pressed on the keyboard so that I can remove the rulers and the guides in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. So how do you activate the rulers and the guide? So all you need to do, the first step is to go to the file here at the toolbar, and then you can click on show rulers. So it's as simple as that. And if you click on the rulers, you will see the ruler up here on top. Now it's good to know that whatever your size of measurement or the unit of measurement, to say it correctly, that you used for your file, that's what the ruler will follow, okay? So it adopts to the doc type units. So here I am using um, 940 pixels by 788 pixels, which is actually the measurement for Facebook post. And so that's why he appear on top, you will see measurement in pixels. So you can try that out. If you are probably creating an A4 document, then you will see centimeters or millimeters on your rulers so zooming in scales the rulers that's what i show you earlier so let's quickly do that again right now so we are currently at 75 percent so if i choose 200 percent see what happens the ruler is actually scaled as well so the next one is that um, you can right click on your design and make sure the show guides is already enabled in the file menu so that you will be able to activate this. So let's go and click file again and click show guides. There you go. The guides were shown already. If I haven't mentioned yet, the other way for you to um, activate the guides would be here at the ruler, press and hold your mouse and then drag the guide to position. So um, the guide actually snaps to the elements in your design already. So let me just open a new page right here, a cleaner one, so that you can see the guides as is. So I'm gonna change this background color to white so that you can see, I think there's still a texture. So I removed it and now here you can see the guides. So I'm gonna do that again and then snap and there you go, that's your guide. Now, if you wanna remove this, all you need to do is to drag it outside all right and then you can also um press the shift and r to remove the rulers on top and then for mac users you can press command and the semicolon key on your keyboard to remove or to hide the guides there you go it's hidden now and if i want it to show up again i'll just simply click on the command or control key if you're using windows command for mac of course and the semicolon and the guides that i put in here would show up again now it's good to know that guides actually are per design so all the pages will have the same guides unfortunately right now you cannot work on different guides for different pages in your document and um, rulers and guides 
up to present are only available for desktop users. So you cannot use this on mobile and you cannot use this on your browser if you are using your browser to access canva.com. Now you can clear um, the guides by right clicking on the page and then press clear guides. So let's try that one out right now. Right click and then clear guides and poof, it's gone. And after you clear the guides, you no longer have access to that. The undo button will not work. If you right click on it, there's no way for you to reinstate the guides that you previously have on your design. So there you go. I think I have discussed all the things that you wanted to know or the things that are very important in this rulers and guides update or rulers and guides feature for that matter. And in a separate tutorial, we are going to go ahead and apply the rulers and the guide in designing a project so that you will know how much convenience that update will give to you. So that's it for me right now. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell so that you will be notified when a new video is up. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'm here to help you out. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye. Thank you.